So we're in my shed and this tiny pot right here had my aloe vera plant when I first bought it and now is in another pot. And this pot is being used to hold the signs of what I grow in my garden. I'm Gardener Chicole and I'm going to show you how I'm going to repot my aloe vera plant. Now we're back inside my home and this is the aloe vera plant. You can see it's way bigger than it was when it was in that previous pot. But if I get in a little closer, you will see that it is clearly outgrowing this pot. It's gotten bigger and bigger and it's just growing up and up. And some of the branches have actually snapped um, like this one because there's no space over here. So let's move to a bigger pot and yes, I still have my California raisins. My sister called herself trolling me on Facebook about that a few weeks ago saying, uh, if you have this in your house, you must be this. No, we're not even going there. Now we're back outside. This pot I purchased from Walmart. It's a 3.9 inch self-watering planter. I really like the self-watering planter because I can just pour the water right here in this hole and not have to worry about it. And this previous one, which is a 10 inch uh, diameter, also has the same uh, thing here. So I removed this sticker, but I don't like how it left the sticky part behind. So I'm going to take this fingernail polish remover and remove it. And because I just painted my fingernail this morning, I put on this glove because I am not messing up my fingernail polish. And as you can see, it comes off so easily. Just a little bit of that, get all that sticky residue off so you don't have that as an eyesore once you get your plant planted in the pot. I have my face mask on because I don't like getting stuff in my nose. And um, if there's one positive ramification from the COVID-19 pandemic is that I really started wearing a face mask in the garden. Not all the time, but when I'm messing with the dirt, pulling up weeds, I have found I end up less congested and I end up with less random things going up my nostrils, which is not good. But as you can see, I got my pot here and that uh, fingernail polish remover really got all that sticky stuff off of there, which is great. And I did that back inside of my house because I didn't want to have any uh, trouble or any fear that would accidentally knock over the bottle. I tend to be clumsy, so I worry about things like that. And I have my old girl here that needs a new home. So I bought these steaks. So I'm going to take out all of her steaks. And sometimes people give their plants a name. I haven't named her yet, but it's a her. I, I can't tell you how I know those things. It, it just is. So the next thing that's super important. So like here, you can see right when I moved her, this fell off. And you can see it died and detached from the base. And part of that is because it was so crowded in here. So I'm gonna turn, I'm gonna move this pot back a little bit. Also, when I pot my house plants, I only have two, which are the two that you saw earlier in this video. I plant them outside on top of my raised bed. So if any dirt, you know, goes somewhere, it goes right into my raised bed. So I'm gonna put this pot on the side and I'm gonna kind of push down on the side of the pot. That'll loosen up the plant enough to get it out. And there's the whole entire plant. I'm gonna stick it down to the bigger pot. Now you're probably wondering uh, why I just put the plant in the pot like that. And that's because the plant is what you kind of hear root bound. The roots were just so clogged up in there and I want to cover the base of the plant more, especially the stem part that's so heavy that it's fallen over. So I got my dirt down here, which you can't see, but you don't need to see the back of dirt. There's nothing, dirt is dirt, right? You know what dirt looks like. And I got some uh, potting soil in particular. I have the miracle Grow potting soil. I like that one. I know everybody has their jam and it's dirt. So get what you can afford. 
I got this on sale. Uh, I always price check my dirt, which sounds crazy. This particular dirt, I actually ordered for Amazon Prime. It's the first time I've ever ordered dirt to my house, but I have an Amazon Prime membership and it was cheaper to get the dirt delivered to my house than any place locally um, had it at the time because I always price check. There's about three or four different places I go to price check dirt and then I go purchase the dirt. And some people are like, that's doing too much. Uh, but anytime I can save a dime, that ain't doing too much. So right now, I'm just slowly filling up the plant. And I'm using my hands. I do have a shovel out here, but I don't feel like using the shovel. Because sometimes you just want to put your hands in the dirt. I mean, real gardeners, we love the dirt. There's something about touching the soil that just brings me peace and calm. I can't explain it. I can't put it into words, but I, I never feel frustrated or angry when I'm picking up dirt and repotting the plant. So sometimes I use my shovel and sometimes I don't. But do you, because a lot of stuff, a lot of times when I see things on the internet, People are just so judgy nowadays. If someone wants to use their little fancy shovel, let them use their shovel. If somebody wants to use their hands, let them use their hands. Like what business is it of yours? But if you are a person that uses a shovel, do that. Some people will pick this up and pour this into the back, into the pot. Now that's the one thing I do recommend against because if the dirt comes in too fast, it could snap some of the branches and you definitely don't want that at all. So shovel it a little at a time or use your hands like I'm doing here. And you notice I'm holding the plant and that's because I want the plant to stay in a certain place. Because I kind of got tired of bending over, I picked up the bag. I wanted to get a little bit smaller before I could pick it up with one hand. But you know, I am a uh, small, petite person. All right, let's speed this up. 